Identifying the professions that people allegedly love to hate is old news. It always, by the way, throws up politicians, lawyers and journalists, which actually makes me feel three times guilty. What about professions that we ought to love? A hinge on my glasses broke, a tiny hinge that I'd barely see even if I could put my glasses on to see it. I'm in Cape Town, I make for the optometrist in gardens. He says, just a moment, and he disappears with my glasses into an inner sanctum. Memories happen. In the decade that I've been an optometry customer, I have at least three times asked a random optometrist, not my own, that is to say, for a similar small service. They all did it cheerfully and none would take payment. Now I'm asking for more. I feel like a special brand of serial offender, an optometry abuser. I've taken at least 20 minutes of optometry's time and training and rent, plus those tiny screws, and contributed nothing. What would you reckon? 10 million South Africans wear glasses? If my level of care, or lack thereof, is around average, that's 200 million minutes that we've stolen from optometrists. Shouldn't we face treason charges? I'm embarrassed. If I was waiting to be seen, I'd walk out. But I'm the optometrist hostage. He has my glasses. Which he hands back with a smile and a farewell wave. I demand to pay. He laughs it off. I lose. I leave. I discover he has cleaned my lenses. Some professions, we pay for the professional to draw breath. We pay for seconds of service, not minutes. We pay for a split second scroll signature. But we don't erect images of nice guy professions. We're too busy handing out bad press to the other ones, like the journalists. Huh? The trade that above all others looks for where truth really lies, not for where the chap with the checkbook says it is. How did we get snuck in with the bad news, guys? But to return, look at librarians. They are paid nothing by their customers, and no one gives their customers better service. Look at hardware shops, the only place that everything costs less than you expect, and a 3 rand 50 plastic fitting comes with a thousand words of free lecture on how to install it. Look at volunteer firemen, Kurt Vonnegut's recurring heroes. Noble does not come nobler than willingness to barge into a burning building and rescue someone you never met. Look at the toll plaza kiosk handing out 10,000 patient hellos a day and uplifting smile every time. Here's a chair for all the work people around us who put a bit of giving into their earning. Love you people, love you, showing us life bigger than income statements. Music